Hi guys, I am Mr. Pat Jason Reyes and I will be your MAPI teacher for today. For today's video, I will be discussing the differences between Impressionism and Expressionism in arts. So, among all the topics in MAPI 10, this is my most favorite. I just don't know why, but they are my favorites. So for today, I'm not gonna be discussing the history, all the people involved, why it started. I will not be discussing those things, but I'm gonna be only discussing the differences between the two. Their definition, their characteristics, and their features. So let's start with the definition of Impressionism and Expressionism. So Impressionism is defined as an art style that tries to capture an impression of what the artist's eyes see at the given moment. So meaning the basis of the painting of the painter is her or his way of seeing the subject, his or her impression to the subject. Maybe we see the same thing. For example, this is our subject on our painting. Maybe we see this. I mean, maybe we see the same mug, maybe we see the same thing, but we have different ways on saying it. We have different impressions towards this subject. Speaking of impression, di ba sometimes we ask our friends kung ano yung impression nila sa atin? Tapos sasabihin nila, mabait, masungit, balajo. So those are impressions. And those things could also be applied on art impressionism. For example, you are my subject. And my impression on you is like, you are masungit. Then, my objective to my painting is to make it look like masungit. Because that is my impression to my subject and that is you. Another example, if my subject is Manila Bay, when I go there, my impression to Manila Bay is like, it's chilly, uh, malamig or mainit. So, my painting should look like that because that is my impression to Manila Bay. And that impression could be changed moment by moment. Pwede ngayon chilling sa Manila Bay, mamaya sobrang init. So, yung impressionism, yung impression mo sa subject mo ay pwedeng magbago depende sa panahon or depende sa, sa effect ng araw. On the other hand, Expressionism works more with their imagination and feelings rather than with what their eyes see in the physical world. So that means, yung basis or yung pinaghuhugutan ng painting ay galing sa emotion, galing sa feelings, or sa imaginations. So those are the things that cannot be seen in the physical world. So lahat na makikita mo sa painting na Expressionism ay hindi hindi mo makikita sa realidad. So your subject could be extraordinary things, strange things, everything na hindi mo makikita sa mundo, everything na, na imposible yung mangyari, tulad ng pagmamahal niya sa'yo. Alright, so let's move on the characteristics of Impressionism and Expressionism. So there are some characteristics of Impressionism that might be similar with the expressionism. Kaya kailangan natin itong i-discuss so you can better identify, you can better classify kung impressionism ba yun or expressionism. So let's start with the first characteristic of impressionism versus expressionism. So impressionism has objective perspective while expressionism has subjective perspective. So what is the difference between objective and subjective? When we say objective perspective, this is the perspective that is based on the things that can be measured, things that can be touched, things that can be seen in the world. While subjective perspective is based on your emotion, your feelings, and imaginations. Second characteristic, Impressionism is blurry while Expressionism is distorted. So for example, in Impressionism, this is our subject, the laptop. So kung ano yung itsura ng laptop na to, same lang. Kung ano yung meron yung laptop na to, same lang yung makikita sa painting ko. May screen, may keyboard, may charger, may webcam. But the only difference is, 
the painting is blurry, blurred. The details are not precise, the details are not clear because it's blurred. And that blurry effect helps the painter to show what is his impression towards the subject. While in Expressionism, it is distorted. When we say distorted, the form is changed. The form of everything is changed. Lahat ng hulma, lahat ng forma ng mga bagay-bagay ay naiba. Sobrang iba. That's, that is why yung mga makikita mo sa painting na Expressionism ay hindi hindi mo makita sa realidad because it is distorted. Again, kapag sinabing distorted, yung form ng isang bagay ay nabago, ay nagulo. That is distortion. Third characteristic. In Impressionism, they use freely brushed colors while in Expressionism, they use vivid coloration. When we say freely brushed colors, ibig sabihin nun, the paint or the colors are not properly blended. Hindi masyadong na-blend, hindi masyadong na-mix. And that thing, is the reason why it is blurry. So kaya blurry ang Impressionism painting is because of the freely brushed colors. In Expressionism naman, they use vivid coloration. So when we say vivid, colors are so bright, are so powerful, are so strong. So pwede natin sabihin na OA or exaggerated yung mga color choices nila. Kasi kapag hindi strong and powerful yung mga pinili nilang colors sa pagpipaint ang Expressionism, they will not be able to express what they want to express. Fourth characteristic, Impressionism conveys mood and atmosphere. As simple as that. Walang ibang ibig sabihin ng painting, walang hidden meaning, walang emotion dun sa painting, walang imagination sa painting. It only wants to convey a mood or an atmosphere. While Expressionism, there's emotion, there's a feeling. May ginamit na imagination dun sa painting. That is the difference between Impressionism and Expressionism. And let's move on to the subjects or features of each painting. So these are the things that we commonly see on each painting. So in Impressionism, these are the common subjects. Everyday objects, yung madalas natin nakikita sa buhay natin araw-araw. So it could be different sceneries, landscapes, seascapes, houses, buildings, yung mga bagay na nakikita natin, mga bagay na nahawakan, this could be our subject sa ating Impressionism painting. While in Expressionism, sabi ko mga kanina, these are coming from our imagination. So, hindi natin siya pwedeng makita in reality. So, this could be ghost, magic, monster, strange things, or mga mythic tales, alam nyo, mga supernatural. So, those are the things that we can see on Expressionism painting that might or that may represent a significant feeling or emotion. And we're done with the first ever episode of Muppet Time. So, sana may natutunan kayo kahit konti. So, kung meron kayong suggestions for the future topics na pwede kong ituro online dito sa aking YouTube channel, comment nyo lang po sa baba. At huwag nyo pong kalimutang mag-subscribe sa aking channel. See you again next time. Bye-bye!